Looking to save big on holiday shopping? Xfinity Mobile has you covered. Now through January 10th, ask how existing Xfinity customers can get a free unlimited intro line for a year when they buy one line of unlimited. Plus, see how to get $400 off an eligible 5G phone. Visit XfinityMobile.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Restrictions apply. Xfinity Mobile requires Xfinity Internet. Reduce speeds after 20 gigabytes of usage per line. Data thresholds may vary. Hey, it is Brandon. I'm so excited to be here because I love Hallmark Crisps movies. That's a lot, hey. Man. This is Brian, and I'm also so excited to be here, and I like those Hallmark Christmas movies. Hey, it's Dan, and I'm so excited to be here, because I despise those Hallmark Christmas movies. And this is the Deck the Hallmark Podcast! Deck the Hallmark, it's his podcast. Brandon and friends host his podcast. We hope you like this jolly podcast. All right, haters. Oh. We 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 <laughs> haven't hear haters in the building. We haven't sung in days. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Days. We don't sing around the office ever. They, they don't. They're not pretty. When was the last time we sang on the show? Years. It was, it was like years. Yeah. Um, Probably weeks. Oh, it was entertaining angels. Uh, Newsboys last week. Yeah, I believe so. Lighthouse when we seven. Had the Lighthouse seven. You wait for me. Straight you know no chaser. Yeah, straight, we did sing in front of the straight no chaser. Guy. Yeah, is he the bass? I don't know. Steve, I was listening to a straight no chaser song. Yeah, and they're good. He sounds sure like. He might be the base. We should have gone over that with him. Should have asked him. Can maybe. I ask you just, and this is, I'm sorry if this is too personal. Would you say that you are all about the base or is there any? <laughs> no awful, treble. Awfully personal. You don't want any room? No treble. You're all about wow. that base? No treble. He answered without delay. Well, I have so said was- this about you for years. You are bringing booty back. <laughs> 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 Hi, everybody. <laughs> sure. Uh, what it is, is happening. Friday anyway, it is, is Thanksgiving anyway, week. Haters. Double. This is the first or second of the double. <laughs> <laughs> double Friday. Depending on which Pretend way you listen to, to this. How you listen. There's no way even. that people are realistically listening to four episodes in two days, right? Like This, <laughs> this isn't possible. We should have spread yeah, this out more, but our, we're locked. Yeah. We're locked and loaded locked at this point. Yeah. We are definitely um, that. <laughs> here's the good news, everybody. Some of us more locked. Some of us more loaded. If you had to... Philo.tv slash DTH. You can watch all of these episodes, the movies that we're talking about, and check out the Holiday Movie Hub that they have showcasing a, a ton of amazing Christmas movies that you can yeah. watch just at the click of a button. Philo is incredible all year long, but at Christmas, Philo really shines. They do. And we're also giddy because yep. tomorrow, Brand. Whoa! The Poinsettia Parade. Right here in, yeah, that green belt. But crossing our fingers for good weather. Sure are. Yeah. The forecast kind of keeps... Evan and flowing, it doing a little this into that. Yeah. Uh, but j- check us out at Hallmark Podcast on the social media uh, for all the information about that. We'll be live streaming this this sucker on our YouTube channel, uh, perhaps some other social media platforms. Who can say? Who blue can sky? say? We're going to be on the blue, blue sky? Uh, the blue ski? The blue ski. The blue ski. Throw me, throw me blue I don't know. Can, <laughs> can you live stream on I blue ski? I don't think you can live stream on the blue oh, ski. Yeah. Man. No, um, next year. maybe next year. We are uh, uh, deck the hallmarks on Bluesky. <laughs> we are on here. Bluesky. Our handle at Bluesky is at Hallmark Podcast. Yes, it is. Look us up. Follow us. We won't know. Ski us. <laughs> we won't. Know. Ski us. <laughs> shout shout. Ski, ski us. us. Space Dude, did, I don't know what you do. What did you, do you do? see what we just skied? It was <laughs> oh, an amazing post. <laughs> just yeah, unbelievable. Ski. You gotta check yeah. us out on the Blue ski, ski of the year. Ski of the year. <laughs> Some tracks. Speaking of sure. ski of the year, let's go skiing. Sure. Oh man, what a transition! Head out to Utah, we're pros. On out to a season four family. Lighthouse Seven. You. It originally me. aired on November twenty second, twenty twenty three. And it went a little something like this. Uh, Maddie works at a hotel, but the kind of hotel where the workers wear a uniform, not just nice clothes. Looking at you, Red Roofin. She doesn't typically. You, I'm sorry. Yeah. Conjoining room. Are you is, are you doing any events at the Red Roof during the holiday season? Rick? We have a little with Maze Fest. Maze Fest. Maze Fest. Like Billy Maze. 
Billy, 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 no, Billy the, Mays the cocaine Hayes? guy? <laughs> no. no. Rest in peace, obviously. Uh, obviously. Obviously, yeah. What is Mays Fest? Shame wow. No, that's not him. It's not <laughs> no, That no. is a cocaine No, guy. everybody brings their best maze. Maze? You got Like me? you get corn? lost do in the you, maze? Do you speak English? Like corn? Corn it maze? could be a corn maze, yeah, if you bring So, that. like, what do you mean you bring your own maze? Everybody brings their own maze, and we all try them out. <laughs> what type <laughs> What type of maze are you try? Are you Me bringing? Personally? Yes, Jello pudding. <laughs> I've constructed walls and I fill them with pudding. That's what I need to yep. know. Yep. I, yep. I, I, yep. I was yep. still a little bit. So it's a maze yep. Good built out, out of pudding. If you get the strawberry, you've gone too far. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Thank you, Wrigley. You're and welcome. when is that? That's next weekend at the Red Roof. At the Red Roof Inn, conjoining rooms. Yes. No uniforms. No maze too big. No maze too small. No maze too big. That's right. All right, we're going to push that to the limit, I'm sure. Uh, anywho, she doesn't typically take time off during the holidays, but she is this year. Uh, her and her son, Wesley, are heading off to stay with her family for Christmas. Um, there's a reason for it. That reason is her son is adopted. Correct. And she has found out that her adopted son has a brother and the brother just so happens to be from the same town that her parents are from. That's nice. Get to stay with your parents, celebrate Christmas, and also maybe maybe find a brother. So they, uh, they uh, Wesley, he's been working on this family Christmas, uh, uh, a Christmas family tree. It's, it's nothing to do with Christmas. It's a family tree project. <laughs> That's so, a different movie. Yes. Amy T. Garden, yeah. Andrew yes. Walker. Yes. Christmas, yes. My family Christmas tree. Yes. This my Christmas family tree. <laughs> um, they head to a ski shop and snag some gear and meet a hunky store owner named Paul. He's showing them boots and is pumped to hear that Maddie is a single mom. Literally says, quote unquote, that's great. <laughs> uh, she leaves and he's rushing to catch his son's talent show. He's a single dad who's just trying his best. Maddie takes Wesley to ski class the next day and meets Paul's sister and uh, Paul's son, Cody. They're in class together. They become fast fast friends. This is a big deal because Cody hasn't really made friends since his mom passed away. Maddie and Paul bond over some nerdy sci-fi author. I don't know, man. It could have been real. could have been fake. I don't know. Don't care. But then they realize something. <laughs> right. uh, their boys are brothers. Apparently, both Wesley and Cody are adopted. They're birth brothers, and they also are now best friends, but they don't... You don't have to say birth brothers. We just say brothers there. <laughs> But they also they are birth brothers. They are birth brothers. It's not wrong. Like we're cream bros. Right. <laughs> if we just said we were brothers, people would be confused because they would immediately think birth brothers. Birth brothers, yeah. That's why we say cream. Maybe that's in why front he of says birth brothers because he's yeah. I assume like people are thinking cream bros. Cream bros. Yeah. Cream bros. Um, to cream make things this are going great. To make this more complicated, Paul hasn't told Cody that he's adopted. Uh, despite his best effort to have uh, them not hang out, it just kind of keeps happening. Uh, mainly because he keeps letting it happen. Uh, any opportunity, uh, including decorating a Christmas tree together as one big family. But again, not a family. They're, they don't even know it yet. Uh, his business is struggling. So he pitches Maggie's dad, who owns a big hotel in town, one that you don't have to wear a uniform for, but still a nice hotel, uh, to partner with him. He agrees on a trial run, and Maggie helps to make sure what I say. Maggie. Uh, just Maggie. Uh, Maggie Earth helps to make sure that this goes smoothly. They keep hanging out, bowling, shopping, the works. Uh, he, goes, he goes in for a kiss, and she's like, I feel weird kissing. Knowing what I know that you know that your son doesn't know. And he's like, you're right. You're right. So that night, Paul and Cody talk about adoption just like in general. Like, what do you think about that? And uh, he uh, fumbles this opportunity by not coming clean. He... Um, is really feeling the pressure. Then um, Maddie's dad asks for uh, asks if she was gonna oh can move home to become the GM at the hotel, and she's like, "There's a lot to think through here." So when she tells Paul uh, about the potential job, he's like, "This is too much, too fast." 
you and this and love and all that. Uh, when faced with all the possible options, he decides the best course of action would be to sell the store and move far away from everybody that he knows. But he decides to finally stop running and tell Cody. And Cody is like, I knew that I was adopted. I have ears. So they go over to Maddie's for dinner, and he tells her that he wants her to stay. They kiss long ones, and then they sit the boys down to let them know that they are birth bros. (laughs) And uh, (laughs) they're pumped, and they hug. And that, my friends, was (coughs) a season season four family. (laughs) God, We're going to we, take a quick break. We are just a mess today. No, I don't think so. I think so. Thank Brian, you. take us a break. We'll be right back <laughs> here on Deck, Deck the, the Hallmark. Hallmark. The holidays are here, and so is the Starbucks Caramel Brulee Latte. Rich, smooth espresso and decadent caramel brulee deliciousness will take you to your holiday happy place. Festive is a tap away. Order on our app today. Luxury is meant to be livable. Discover the new leather collection at Ashley with premium quality leather sofas, recliners, and more, all built to last. No matter how many spills, scuffs, or pet-related mishaps come its way, the leather collection at Ashley is made with the durability you need for the whole family. Shop the new leather collection at Ashley and find chairs starting at $499.99 and sofas at $599.99. Ashley, for the love of home. Well, hello. Oh, Do you hey. have pink eye, but in, in your throat? It just kind of keeps <laughs> popping up occasionally. It's different spots? Yeah. Different spots. Yeah. Man. Pink, pink eye pink of eye. the throat. That's yeah. right. Pink throat. Once again. <laughs> uh, <laughs> here's the good news, everybody. Medical term We're just there. three non-birth bros hanging out, That's all. talking about Hallmark movies. This Today, we're talking about a... Season, season for family. family. Uh, let's break it down with four segments. Let's start with the hot yeah. take. I'll Brian. take it from here, Bran. Go uh, ahead, Bran. <laughs> uh, I'll take my time, too, Bran. So you just relax there for a second. Uh, this uh, might be an unpopular opinion. I feel like I'm going to get a little bit of pushback today just from the random uh, light conversation around the office. I really like this movie. <laughs> Uh, I'm a big Brandon Penny fan. And and by Brandon Penny, you mean Brendan's brother, who is not on screen at all? Brendan Brandon Penny. There's the one. Yeah. Brand, I said Brandon. You said Penny. Brandon well, Penny. Brandon Penny. It's all show. I, Brandon, Brandon, Brandon. It's hard to really emphasize. <laughs> yeah, you, man. It's hard to learn people's it's names. It's all the same. through the letters. Brandon Penny. Brandon, Brandon, Brandon. I, think, Brandon. I, I might don't have care. a new favorite, Stacey Farber, who played Maddie. I don't remember seeing her in anything before. She's this year's Sarah Ramos. She, yeah, I think so. Except, except side Sarah. I'm sorry. But uh, she was great. And the two of them together, uh, I really liked them a lot. This definitely had some problems. Uh, kind of, I guess, a bit of a, you, a controversial topic, you could say, the when to tell your, your adopted children when they're adopted. Uh, some people do it sooner than others. Uh, I guess there's some strong opinions on that. Uh, but the guy, in his defense, I think he wasn't, he, he's a mess. This in, guy in, is a, this guy's a mess. In his in defense. In his defense, he's a he's mess. He's a mess. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he's a real mess. <laughs> He's uh, that's uh, my defense as well. Yeah, I'm a mess. <laughs> so you know when you treat others poorly. No, do it's you not say excusing it? I'm just in saying my defense. I'm, I'm a mess. A mess. <laughs> I'm a mess right now. The guy. I, think, I would be better to you, but I'm bad to myself. I can't possibly. Right. If you think I'm bad to you, you should hear what's going like, on. Listen, in, in I'm, here. A, so I'm a mess. Disaster. Like, yeah. So he needs help. Professional <laughs> help. I don't like that they ended saying, I love you, we're great, everything's great. Uh, I'm psyched those kids get to have be brothers. Uh, birth brothers. <laughs> Not finally just, reunited. Not yeah, just brothers, brothers, but birth, birth brothers. brothers. That's right. So the whole yeah. time I was dying for those kids to know that they were brothers. I'm glad that happened. This guy needs some serious help. They should not be starting a and relationship. And you love it. And I think and that's I what's re- important. I seriously really, really like this movie. Yeah. I don't, it works. This happens really. every time Brendan Penny has a movie. <laughs> Uh, the guy, you go. I actually really like this. Yeah, <laughs> I really did. And I just Stacy Farber was stole the show for me. She I was can, in the Butler movie. The but which one was that? Butler's in love. Oh, okay, all right, yeah. good. It's before your time, but yeah, before your time. when Panda was going to do it, become a, a Butler. That's and, he when he, and he never yes, did. And look, where is he now? Yeah, he's. I mean, look what happens. He's not Butlering. That's for sure. No, definitely not. So yeah, didn't for go me, to school. Uh, I like this one. Um, top three favorite brothers. Ready? Cream mm-hmm. Brothers, 
Birth Brothers. Birth Brothers second. <laughs> no, I'm I'm throwing them out there. You okay, can put, yeah, them, yeah. You put them in the order. Yeah. Uh, Mario Bash, Brothers. Then, okay, Mario Brothers, Bash Brothers. Ooh, I'm gonna go Mario Brothers on a close one. As number one. As one. But uh, which time out? Which Bash Brothers are you talking about? You talking about Mark McGuire, Jose Canseco, or are you talking about Portman and Felder? Portman and Felder. Is it Portman and Felder? It's it's uh, Fulton. It's Fulton. Portman and Fulton. Yes. yes. Yeah, those are the best Bash Brothers. Those are the right. best. Okay. Even though I didn't know their names. <laughs> Uh, the Brooks Brothers, that's another good one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, still, Cream Brothers is obviously the best brother. Um, I'm kind of with uh, Brian. I uh, you, Listen, you have to excuse some stuff in this movie. Uh, the way that they handle this situation is, um, boy, I, I, I hate it because I know that it happens. Like I know that this isn't a story that has not happened to a lot of kids out there. Like, unfortunately, it is. And so it's like a sad story, but I, yeah. I love Brendan Penny. Yeah. I love the Butler, um, and so like it's it's tough. This isn't going to be towards the top of my list, and I would be okay uh, not watching it um, again. Uh, probably somewhere in the middle, lower part of middle would be my guess. Uh, I just wish it was handled a bit better. That's that's all. Uh, that would have helped this movie a good bit. But what can you do? Here we are. Bash Brothers number one, Dan. Um, yeah, I think the idea of this movie is a sweet idea. Oh, the Jonas Brothers. That yeah, oh, that's a, brother. a lot of good brothers out there. Uh, the idea of this movie is a sweet idea. Having brothers who didn't know birth that brothers. they were birth brothers, like, un- reunite or unite for the first time. Um, I think that's wonderful. I think, you know, anytime you deal with uh, an adoption storyline and you have the parents that doesn't tell their kid they're adopted – there are a million reasons to not tell your kid they're adopted, and almost all of them are selfish. Uh, and I know that I'm not in everyone's situation, and I know that some someone out there listening right now did this, and, and I'm not trying to demean them at all. I think it's really hard as adoptive parents because you're very but you vulnerable. are one. I am one, yes. And, and I think you're vulnerable. You're vulnerable because you know that your love for your kid is unconditional and their love doesn't have to be unconditional. They, it doesn't matter what my kid does. He can decide when he grows up that, like, since I'm not his biological father, that I'm not his father. And you know what? I'll still love him to the end of the earth. And I think that's like a wound. Like, it, it literally is like anyone knows how to hurt you your whole life when you're an adoptive parent. Anybody knows how to hurt you exactly how to hurt you. And they know how to hurt your kid. And so it's vulnerable. And so there's a lot of ways to deal with that vulnerability. And one is is to just act like it's not a, true. Act like it's not a thing. And the problem is is that um, you you should never be the arbiter of someone else's identity because that's what they have. That's who they are. My kids are not... Thompson's first that they're their own identity first and and keeping that from them would be wrong um and I what I will say about this movie is is it gets so out of hand that I believe this movie is a real the movie's not good it's not one of my favorites I do think that the leads are good it, the lie becomes so big in this movie that it becomes a cautionary tale on what happens when you think you're just going to withhold this information from your kid. He he and his wife, who is now deceased, start off with very dear intentions, which is we're going to tell him when he's 10 years old. Wife dies. Uh, Brendan Penny's stuck in arrested development. He doesn't know what to do. He just is trying to control. He's trying to batten down the hatches. He's trying not to be vulnerable. All that's really good stuff. But that lie that he thinks is small and inconsequential it, it takes over the entire cultural ecosystem of he and his kids. His sister now has to lie. His best friend now has to lie. His This kid's biological brother now can't know he's his brother. This, this woman who's this, like, also, everyone is brought into this vortex of this lie. And, and so it is... It's absurd to watch in a Hallmark movie. I was like, how is this happening and why are we pulling for this guy? But in real life, it's a cautionary tale of what happens when you you start off with good intentions of like, I just don't want to do this now. And what happens is it becomes like Gollum in the ring where you just perseverate on, we can't let them know because then it would ruin everything. Well, what it's it was the same actually, movie I thought of when yes. watching this movie. Yeah, Lord of the Rings. It's very uh, it's similar. Immediate, it's uh, immediate yeah. like so comparison. One half does the other. It, it, and so 
on that front, it's not a bad resource for adoptive parents because you can look and actually see realistically what would happen if you decided to put yourself as a parent first in this regard over telling your kid his or her true identity. And I think that aspect of it by the end actually does work. Um, along the way, some cringeworthy moments, uh, but it wasn't boring. Uh, I would say it's going to end up somewhere in the middle for me. Baldwin yeah. Brothers, Property Brothers. Yeah. Some more good options there. Yeah. Uh, it's time for all the feels. <laughs> we talk about uh, what gave us feels while we were watching this movie. Brian. Yeah. There were a couple things for me. Uh, one, Christmas sweaters were fully on point. Like, everybody rocked an awesome sweater at one point. It's all that's Christmassy about this movie, though. There's like, not a lot not, of this is not, You're right. This another is, one. Yeah. This uh, is a real... <laughs> In the Christmas department. You put that thumbs right down right over Brian's face. face. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to need that graphic for later in the season, I'm sure. Let's, that can, I feel like that could be used against me. Oh, it's covered well. his whole nose. <laughs> oh, oh, good luck. Just, where's that straw? Can't, just can't. <laughs> uh, so, but the big one, there was a, um, a version of baby, uh, not baby, but Please come home for. I think it was please come that, home for Christmas. That, I need to know who it was. Same. I was I was it, watching Shazam? on my phone and I couldn't, couldn't Shazam it. Me either. And I tried to look at the credits after the movie and they fly through them so it was fast. My favorite cover. It was amazing of that song. Amazing, so good. And it went on for a very long time. It was. I, so I loved great. every second of it. Yeah. Do you I, not remember this brand? I don't remember this. Wow. The most Christmassy part of the movie. Oh, no it was questions the best. asked. It was, it was great. The best. No questions asked. None. None. No. Don't follow-ups. you ask one. Don't dare. No. Uh, so that was phenomenal. No and trouble. That, I, I just. <laughs> <laughs> All about that base. There was no base in that one. Either. There wasn't. So no. we got to figure that out. Yeah, we, we got to figure so that out. So it's almost the yeah, hallmark. Yeah. Like, like can how we to add base to it? it? That's right. We could try to figure out how to add base, but first we got to figure out what the song. What the you song. can't. Yeah, can't add base. I feel like if one you don't of the members the of InSync was in it. Um, I can't remember. It yeah, the wasn't one. Argoletta. Uh, you know. <laughs> It wasn't Lance, Joey, <laughs> JC, Justin. Just, it was the other. It was the other guy. That's right. He might have been part of it. Lance and the other one. That's right. Oh no. Um, Do you have any feels, Brian? <laughs> I don't have a ton of feels in this movie. Like, obviously, frustrated feels. I will say, like, uh, I, I, <laughs> weirdly enough, I, I really enjoyed. <laughs> le- this is going to sound like a real Brian moment. Oh, oh, come on. I really enjoyed learning, learning about, about the adoption. The oh, different say, colors okay. of wax. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah. Different That's colors of wax. Yep. That's embarrassing. For different types of snow. Oh, yeah. Didn't know it. Yeah. Now I know it. And uh, wouldn't you snow it? Because <laughs> it's snow and the skis? <laughs> yeah. Just, you guys can snow skip this it. episode if you're listening right now. <laughs> There's like, another one out. There's we'll another one out right now. One today. The this next is one a will mulligan. Be another one out. Mulligan. And if you already listened to that one, just turn this one off. You've done your due yeah, diligence. Yeah, yeah, uh, Dan? Any further. Um, yeah, the scene where he tells his kids that he's adopted is an incredibly well-acted scene. Um, is it realistic to how that would go? I don't know. Every kid's different. Um, but the kid just jumping in and doing the work for the dad seemed like a freebie. <laughs> seemed like Brendan Penny really needed that at that <laughs> moment. We can talk about that in the wait what if you want. But Brendan Penny's response is, you know, as as bad as this movie treated that situation, like, you know, you never get, you never tire of your kid telling you that you're his dad. And, and I think you see that in Brendan Penny's face and in his reaction. And I thought that was really beautiful. So there you go. Let's take a quick break. We'll come back with the way when the what the hallmark here on Deck, Deck the, the hallmarks. hallmarks. That's good. That was, that was worth the same in the show. Yeah, print that. I hope people didn't leave too soon. No. It's the most beautiful time of the year, and JCPenney Beauty has gifts for all. Shop our newest brand, Smashbox and Too Faced Cosmetics, to check the glam off your list. Give it your all with designer fragrances from Calvin Klein and Dolce & Gabbana. Plus, check out the latest products from Murad Skincare and Olaplex Hair Care. With hundreds of brands and gift ideas, there's something for everyone. Treat yourself to a free mini service from our experts and book an appointment at our salon to get holiday ready today. And as always, shop online 24-7. JCPenney, make your holidays count. The holidays are back at Starbucks, and so is the peppermint mocha. Made with a dash of festive peppermint flavor, delightfully comforting mocha drizzle, and smooth, rich Starbucks espresso. Festive is a tap away. Order on our app today. Hi. Uh, Welcome back, everybody. We're talking about a family seasonal. (laughs) 
a family season, seasonal, a season a for family. Season season? Seasonal? No basin now. Season that one. for no, Christmas? Not at all. Uh, for trouble. <laughs> Let's do this. Yeah. Let's get to the way what? Family wait, what? seasonal. <laughs> we uh, did it, Brian. What you got? Any way what's in this movie? A few, few little things. When all the family was together after dinner, they had a little family sing along, and they sang "We Wish You a Merry Christmas," and they <laughs> could not have been like more off beat with each other. The music was either way behind or way ahead at any point during the song. <laughs> yeah. It was really hard to listen to and actually pretty amazing that they got through it because it would ju- I would just have to stop. I don't know how you sing through that. Uh, just an overall like frustration with Paul. Like he has absolutely no hustle. Like I know he's going through a tough time. <laughs> tough time. He's a mess. He's got just Jeez. He's a disaster, and, and he, that's why he's a wreck right yes, now. So yes. cut him some slack, I know. But also, like, you got to have a little hustle. Like, obviously, your shop is a failure. You got to. Do, do you think Brian ever comes home and be like, "These guys don't have any hustle. <laughs> they just sat around <laughs> and they no ate hustle. wings like, and they watch reality TV. They have once. no hustle." Not I mean, once. he's not wrong. Not <laughs> like our our goal in life is to figure out how to make enough money just to eat wings with, on Wednesday with yeah. the least amount of hustle. That's right. Yeah, That's yeah, yeah. the hustle. Could we that hustle is, less? Could we? Uh, the hustle <laughs> is to figure out how to make more by hustling less. That's right. Isn't yeah. that the American dream? That's the American dream. It's a magic trick that yeah. you guys perform daily. Yeah. No, I don't think think that about you guys. But for him, <laughs> that was convincing. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, a couple of big thumbs up. For him, like obviously his store is a failure. Like, why are you trying to keep your store open when oh there's gosh. there's obviously this Just other way to talk go? With Brad this, is a, this is a no brainer. You close the doors, you put all your stuff in a storage facility, and you just do mobile ski repair and fitting and and things like that. Like it's such a no brainer, and you save so much money. Just go do that. Like, no, it didn't even occur Can to him. Can you enough. say his store's a failure one more time? It didn't even occur to him. There's no that hustle. He's failed. His, his wife is dead. Okay? Wow. His store is a failure. His, he's a mess. Like, he's just got to make some big changes, and he's not even, like, thinking about it. And then a 100% of the, the, like, all the work that he has to do can be done remote. He doesn't need this place. You still talking about this? No other resort. You're in a resort town, and not once did he mention, like, <laughs> offering his services to another hotel. Like, there's no discussion about, like, hey, maybe we should check out another hotel and see if they need some ski services. No hustle. No, no hustle. hustle. No hustle. It was kind guy. of frustrating. Uh, and the ski services, they seem to go hand in hand, like, with 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 offering things to guests. Like, you offer lots of stuff to, stuff to guests. Yeah. For the hotel, there's no downside to Zero. doing this. So what does this guy, like... He's the dad is like the, up in the air on. He's like, yeah, I don't know. The about crisis this. of him wanting to bring the new GM on. Yeah, in on it the is GM's like, gonna be like, why <clears throat> did you do this months ago? He should have just been like, start it, and then if the GM comes in and doesn't like it, then the GM can they get can, rid of it. I kept thinking about that. Like speaking of you guys not hustling, this is a good example of you hustling. You would just do it, and then if somebody came in and you hired a GM, whatever reason, they would change it. Like you just do, make the decision. Like you're supposed to be running the business. Uh, the dad. This is the. Silly. It's a very silly thing, but it bugged me to no end. The guy, they say that all the dad can make is chili. It's the only thing he can yeah, cook. Over and over again. If you can make chili, you can make anything. Like in If chili, you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. You're right. chopping stuff up. Dodge a wrench. Which you do in every single <laughs> recipe. You're cooking the meat or whatever is going in it. You do that in every other recipe. Like all recipes are measure this, cut that, heat this. That's it. And that's what he's doing. Like he can make anything. I don't know if he knows this. But this guy. No hustle. Maybe, he's got, yeah, no, he's got hustle no hustle in the kitchen. He's got to get it together. He's got no kitchen hustle. Um, and so, yeah, those are some things that just bug me. I've, he loves it. He I did. I, I really fan. did like this uh, Matt, Maddie comes into her parents' house, and she leans down on her knees and says, Merry Christmas. Like she's talking to a baby? What, what was that about? What a weird way to greet yeah. you. I don't remember that, but that sounds weird. Merry Christmas. <laughs> um, so they're setting up this ski display. Concee. Oh, yeah, gotcha. Cool. And it's up against the wall and blah, blah, blah. And Brendan Penny says... We got to make it really good. It's going to be the first thing that people see when they come in, which is just factually incorrect. The door's right next to it. The door opens up against it. We know that because it knocked the display down. It would probably be the last thing people see when they when they close the door and they finally see it after scanning the rest of the store. It will not be the first. You should put it somewhere else. Buy it. No hustle. Though. No, so, no hustle. Saying, no, <laughs> hustle. Like, no hustle. Uh, at the talent show. 
at the talent show, they went above and beyond. They put the keyboard on this on these wheels. They wheel it out like someone put in a lot of work there. Uh, just plug it in. Just <laughs> plug it in. If you're going to do the work of putting a keyboard on wheels, plug the darn thing in. We can see it. There's nothing. Nothing plugged. Isn't peanut butter outlawed everywhere where kids are now? Like yeah, these yeah, kids are yeah. reckless with They're their peanut butter. Ham. I was so worried about Brian. Thank you. Thank these you. kids are dueling dueling weapons. They're just out there slapping people with their <laughs> peanut butter sandwiches. Uh, there was a Christmas tree lot, and all the trees on the lot had lights they on did. them already. Yeah. 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 An interesting yeah. move. Seems like that's a lot a of extra work. Uh, but that's the hustle that you're looking for. That's what that I'm talking the hustle about. You're looking for out there hustling. True. Um, and then <laughs> there's a scene towards the end of the movie where uh her kid is just sitting on the front stoop just like alone with his thoughts looking at the mountains and i'm like that kid doesn't exist right there's not an eight-year-old boy who's like you know what i want to do right now oh, yeah. just kind of sit with my thoughts no. look out there at the mountains you don't know all eight i don't know all eight-year-olds eight happen it could happen I know, I, I know, I know, uh, our kids. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> None of no. our kids are spending quiet time just like, man, let me just think about my day. <laughs> As they look at the mountains, beautiful mountains, though. Unless they're up mountains. to something. And Unless they're, they're up to no good. To Unless they're figuring out a way. Yeah. That's, that's right. right. They're hustling. They're Unless they're hustling. They're hustling. That's right. They're hustling. They're they're hustling. 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 Um, is Hallmark not allowed to show regular bowling? <laughs> is it something like, I've seen three mini bowling scenes. Candlepin. And, Candlestick. Is it candlestick? Yeah. Thin? And, uh, okay, whatever you call it. Candlepin. Are they, why aren't they showing full size bowling? Isn't that big out there in the West? You keep it's saying the, the name thing. of it, and that's great. I think it's a bigger type it's of style. candle it's pin. Candle pin. Yeah. All, I'm not saying it doesn't exist. What I'm saying they is, is that it. Yeah. why have we not seen a single actual bowling scene in the last, you know, it's this still season? still bowling. And, and we've seen. Baby bowling, tiny it's candle not, pin. I bowling. mean, candle hey. was only bowling until college. Really, a lot of lanes have the candle pins. Yeah, it's also called duck pin bowling, from what I understand from Lisa. That sounds in the chat. Up. Yeah, because candle pin sounds above board. I don't like. I'm trusting all of you guys. I've never, I've yeah, never been. I've never heard pin? of it. Like, it just seemed like we've seen a lot of that and no actual full Big size ball. bowling. Yeah. The real, real bowling. Um. The uh, the lead in this movie, she comes to town. She starts hanging out with Brendan Penny, and three different people tell her, "You must like him because I've not heard you laugh like that in a while." Great line. She barely is laughing. Yeah. Barely. Like it's not like she's like she she looks like maybe a few courtesy laughs. Like it's not like you get to see her super serious, and then all of a sudden she's just yucking it up. Yeah. To, for them to point out something as specific as laughing, it would have to be a pretty iconic laughter that they were used to hearing from her as a child. And that's just not what happens in this movie. Uh, she doesn't make that laughter anything special. Um, this You covered the boutique, uh, boutique skiing uh, situation, like mm. ski concierge thing well. I was just shocked at how fast this was turning. Like, it was constantly like, well, I've been trying to call these people for forever. And all of a sudden, he talks to them like while they're outside. And he's like, why don't we start it tomorrow? Yeah. And then he goes and he does it tomorrow. And he's like, well, why don't we shut it down? And it, it, it just was like so contrived to make the plot of this movie work for her to get this job or whatever. Um, and then I know I do a lot of things while I'm, I'm on hold with someone uh, where I tell them I'm about to accept a job and move across country and it's a very big conversation. I don't feel like I'm looking at my kids' crafts. I don't feel like I'm breaking out the letter to Santa um, and going through all of that in that sentimental moment. But thank goodness he did, or he'd yeah, be, you know, if he didn't, Whew. different world from here. Still be trying to get that store to there work. There you go. Um, yeah, shout out to Plasma Boy, who apparently used to sit outside See? and say, exactly. quote, you thought you knew I'm thinking everybody. my thoughts. I don't. I just, I, I, w I wish that I was that way. I wish that me as an adult just sat on a stoop and yeah. uh, I could, I could spend more time just sitting in my thoughts. Sure. Yeah. I think we all could. I think we all could. Let's do that um, right now. 
<laughs> you can't even. Can't I'm a even. funny thinker. I'm a funny thinker. Uh, let's get to the what the hallmark is. Where we wonder what could have been. Maybe having a good was Uh Brian, what are you still wondering about, buddy? So, do we know how far apart these these brothers are in age? They two s- years. Okay, ten and eight. Yeah, that's what I figure. Something like that. Yeah. I just couldn't stop thinking about their birth mother. Like, what scenario? What happened here that two two boys, two kids within two years? Like, is she just, like, the most giving lady in the world where she's like, I'll carry your baby for different people and just keeps doing, like... I mean, it was probably how, just a hard no, situation. I would assume, no, this was child services. Yeah. So, 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 so given up for This adoption. is not a private adoption. They yeah. very specifically say child services, so it's, it, it wouldn't it have worked like that. It was not a good situation. The, no. the, the thing that was interesting to me is this almost always child services wants to pair siblings together. Mm-hmm. So the fact that they never called... Uh, I think the older one is the one with Stacy, right? So they never called her to Wesley. say, we have Wesley's sure. brother. That was weird to me because in working with child services for several years, they are very big on pairing siblings together as often as they can above almost everything else. It, it, it would be a tiebreaker at the very least. Yeah. So the fact that she didn't know... Yeah was wild to me. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the situation regarding the birth mother could be myriad things. Could be so many things because it's child services. If, yeah, if she had option. already moved out of state, would they try that? Or does that get, it, thing, well, it, does clearly that get they were more both complicated? adopted from the same city. Yeah, yeah. I'm yes. saying she yes. got him yeah. moved. Yeah, they would like, still try would to contact still try, her. Yes, they would. Way. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Um, so... We talked about how the the scene with uh, when Brendan Penny finally says it, like the kid is very understanding. It's like I already knew. Yeah. Like the day before. Yes. He has a conversation where he's like, hey, um, your buddy there, he's adopted. What do you think of that? Mm -hmm. And he's like kind of sad. Did he know then? He did. Okay. He's processing. He, so he's it, processing in my opinion, He was. Yeah. He was just it processing. was. A, it, but it was just an interest. Like thinking back to that scene. That's right. It's an interesting s- scene for the next day. Him to be like, yeah, I know. Yeah. Like yeah. those responses yes. were very interesting. I just want to know how long or did he just hear the conversation just outside the door before he came in there? Is yeah. that the conversation he heard? I don't know. Yeah. Dano. Yeah. Um, this guy is going to accept an assistant ski coach job that he says has great pay, great benefits and housing included. That's it. That's the, what the hallmark I need to know where I need to know, like comparatively to what you have now, I've seen where you live right now. I, you know, everyone in town and he talks about this job. Like it's going to like, Maybe I just don't understand how what I assume is college skiing works. An assistant ski, not a head coach, an assistant ski coach is going to get be getting all of that. Like where? How much are we well, talking? With his knowledge of wax. Um, yeah, I mean, kind of hard, but yeah, for he, sure. He knows and a I, lot. Look, I know that private ski lessons probably cost a fortune, but this is an assistant ski coaching job. This is not a, you know, a club pro situation. And so I was just kind of like, this seems like the least, it seems like what you and I are going for, Brand, the least amount of work yeah. for the the most yeah. amount of not hustling. L- and, like, and imagine I, if our, yes. if this job paid for our mortgage, too. It's just like the oh business comes, yeah. where everything's oh. paid for. Yeah. If and all you got to do is... the mortgage and the, and the car payments, we'd be, we'd that's be set. Hustle. That is that's hustle. hustle. That's right hustle. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Uh, what we did, everybody, some miscommunication, yeah. some frustrations Ooh, yeah. bubbling up. Did it lead to any fights? I don't know. Vic Webster does. It's time for a fighting chance with Vic Webster. Fighting chance with Vic Webster. Fighting chance with Vic Webster. What's the fighting in the movie? Did someone get hurt? Is a fighting chance with Vic Webster. A fighting chance with Vic Webster. A fighting chance with Vic Webster. Vic Webster. You guessed it. Whole lot of nada. A fighting chance with Vic Webster. Wow. I gotta be honest. I know Vic looks good in the workout clothes, but you, this guy, he was all like, he was cleans you know, up nice. Oh boy, yeah, yep. that guy ain't 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 nothing wrong with that. Uh, I wonder if he's gonna look like that the rest of the season. Ooh, only one way to find out. Uh, another episode starts right now. <laughs> uh, what's that movie, Aaron? The next one? 
Letters, letters, letters to, to Santa. Santa. Or that was the one you just listened or, to. Who can yep. say? I don't know how Not you us. live your life. Uh, until then, maybe the first to wish you a Merry Christmas. Christmas. Deck the Hallmarks of Bravel Jam podcast is produced by Aaron Shea. What? For more information on Deck the Hallmark, you can go to deckthehallmark.com. For more information on the Deck the Hallmark family, you can go to brambljamplus.com. Deck the Hallmark is presented by Philo TV. For a free trial of Philo, go to philo.tv slash DTH. You're about to hear some ads that help keep the lights on here in the old studio. Thanks for listening or don't listen. It's really up to you at this point. It's at the end of the show. I mean, you're listening to me. Hi, but here they come. I promise they're coming. Yep. Here they are. Happy day. It's the most beautiful time of the year, and JCPenney Beauty has gifts for all. Shop our newest brand, Smashbox and Too Faced Cosmetics, to check the glam off your list. Give it your all with designer fragrances from Calvin Klein and Dolce & Gabbana. Plus, check out the latest products from Murad Skincare and Olaplex Hair Care. With hundreds of brands and gift ideas, there's something for everyone. Treat yourself to a free mini service from our experts and book an appointment at our salon to get holiday ready today. And as always, shop online 24-7. JCPenney, make your holidays count. Join us at Starbucks for the most magical time of the year when we don red aprons and handcraft delicious holiday drinks in our festive red cups that help get you in the holiday spirit. Stop into a Starbucks and taste the magic for yourself. Start clean with Clorox because Clorox delivers a powerful clean every time. Because messes happen. Because... Hey, listen. Remember how you told me to toss those takeout containers before we left for vacation? And you were like, I'm serious. If that leaks over the counter, it'll be a slimy abomination by the time I get back. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Don't worry about it. I won't forget. (laughs) Well. Ooh, yeah. That happens. So start clean with Clorox. Use Clorox products as directed. Rinse after use if in contact with food surface. Wayfair is ready to make your holiday season even more joyful. Shop all things home for you and everyone on your gift list with an incredible selection of furniture, decor, and more. All with an amazing value that'll make this holiday season the best one yet. And right now, Wayfair is turning up the savings even more with huge deals and sales. Plus, thousands of items ship fast and free. Head to Wayfair.com or download the Wayfair app in the App Store to shop the latest limited deals so you can deck it all. Nissan has a car for everyone, every driver who wants more. Whatever your more is, more fun, more freedom, more action. From sports cars, sedans, and EVs to pickups and crossovers, with Nissan's diverse lineup, anyone can find something to fit their more. Get more revs in their sports cars, more guts with all-wheel drive, and more than enough options to fit your driving style. Nissan can take you where you want to go. Learn more at NissanUSA.com. It's the most beautiful time of the year, and JCPenney Beauty has gifts for all. Shop our newest brand, Smashbox and Too Faced Cosmetics, to check the glam off your list. Give it your all with designer fragrances from Calvin Klein and Dolce & Gabbana. Plus, check out the latest products from Murad Skincare and Olaplex Hair Care. With hundreds of brands and gift ideas, there's something for everyone. Treat yourself to a free mini service from our experts and book an appointment at our salon to get holiday ready today. And as always, shop online 24-7. JCPenney, make your holidays count. The holidays are here, and so is the Starbucks Caramel Brulee Latte. Rich, smooth espresso and decadent caramel brulee deliciousness will take you to your holiday happy place. Festive is a tap away. Order on our app today. Start clean with Clorox, because Clorox delivers a powerful clean every time. Because messes happen. Because... Hey, listen, remember how you told me to toss those takeout containers before we left for vacation? And you were like, I'm serious. If that leaks over the counter, it'll be a slimy abomination by the time I get back. And I was like, yeah, 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 of course. Don't worry about it. I won't forget. (laughs) Well. Ooh, yeah, that happens. So start clean with Clorox. Use Clorox products as directed. Rinse after use if in contact with food surface. Wayfair is ready to make your holiday season even more joyful. Shop all things home for you and everyone on your gift list. With an incredible selection of furniture, decor, 
and more. All with an amazing value that'll make this holiday season the best one yet. And right now, Wayfair is turning up the savings even more with huge deals and sales. Plus, thousands of items ship fast and free. Head to Wayfair.com or download the Wayfair app in the App Store to shop the latest limited deals so you can deck it all. Nissan has a car for everyone. Every driver who wants more. Whatever your more is, more fun, more freedom, more action. From sports cars, sedans, and EVs to pickups and crossovers, with Nissan's diverse lineup, anyone can find something to fit their more. Get more revs in their sports cars, more guts with all-wheel drive, and more than enough options to fit your driving style. Nissan can take you where you want to go. Learn more at NissanUSA.com. It's the most beautiful time of the year, and JCPenney Beauty has gifts for all. Shop our newest brand, Smashbox and Too Faced Cosmetics, to check the glam off your list. Give it your all with designer fragrances from Calvin Klein and Dolce & Gabbana. Plus, check out the latest products from Murad Skincare and Olaplex Hair Care. With hundreds of brands and gift ideas, there's something for everyone. Treat yourself to a free mini service from our experts and book an appointment at our salon to get holiday ready today. And as always, shop online 24-7. JCPenney, make your holidays count. Join us at Starbucks for the most magical time of the year when we don red aprons and handcraft delicious holiday drinks in our festive red cups that help get you in the holiday spirit. Stop into a Starbucks and taste the magic for yourself. Start clean with Clorox because Clorox delivers a powerful clean every time. Because messes happen. Because... Hey, honey, you know your dad's world-famous chili. Yeah, the one that takes 24 hours to make. So I was trying to help out and bring the pot to the table, but it was like super hot. And then I um dropped it. And now the floor looks all, you know, stained with chili. Look, the point is, you guys cool with pizza for dinner? <laughs> Honey? Ooh, yeah, that happens. So start clean with Clorox. Use Clorox products as directed. Wayfair is ready to make your holiday season even more joyful. Shop all things home for you and everyone on your gift list. With an incredible selection of furniture, decor, and more. All with an amazing value that'll make this holiday season the best one yet. And right now, Wayfair is turning up the savings even more with huge deals and sales. Plus, thousands of items ship fast and free. Head to Wayfair.com or download the Wayfair app in the App Store to shop the latest limited deals so you can deck it all. Nissan has a car for everyone. Every driver who wants more. Whatever your more is, more fun, more freedom, more action. From sports cars, sedans, and EVs to pickups and crossovers, with Nissan's diverse lineup, anyone can find something to fit their more. Get more revs in their sports cars, more guts with all-wheel drive, and more than enough options to fit your driving style. Nissan can take you where you want to go. Learn more at NissanUSA.com. Is it possible to predict the unpredictable? Can 3D printed life-size organ models help to map out complex surgeries ahead of time? Is it possible? It already is right here. Mayo Clinic, you know where to go. Start clean with Clorox because Clorox delivers a powerful clean every time. Because messes happen, because... Hey, listen, remember how you told me to toss those takeout containers before we left for vacation? And you were like, I'm serious. If that leaks over the counter, it'll be a slimy abomination by the time I get back. And I was like, yeah, 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 of course. Don't worry about it. I won't forget. <laughs> well. Ooh, yeah, that happens. So start clean with Clorox. Use Clorox products as directed. Rinse after use if in contact with food surface. Wayfair is ready to make your holiday season even more joyful. Shop all things home for you and everyone on your gift list. With an incredible selection of furniture, decor, 
and more. All with an amazing value that'll make this holiday season the best one yet. And right now, Wayfair is turning up the savings even more with huge deals and sales. Plus, thousands of items ship fast and free. Head to Wayfair.com or download the Wayfair app in the App Store to shop the latest limited deals so you can deck it all. Luxury is meant to be livable. Discover the new leather collection at Ashley with premium quality leather sofas, recliners, and more, all built to last. No matter how many spills, scuffs, or pet-related mishaps come its way, the leather collection at Ashley is made with the durability you need for the whole family. Shop the new leather collection at Ashley and find chairs starting at $499.99 and sofas at $599.99. Ashley, for the love of home. Nissan has a car for everyone. Every driver who wants more. Whatever your more is, more fun, more freedom, more action. From sports cars, sedans, and EVs to pickups and crossovers, with Nissan's diverse lineup, anyone can find something to fit their more. Get more revs in their sports cars, more guts with all-wheel drive, and more than enough options to fit your driving style. Nissan can take you where you want to go. Learn more at NissanUSA.com.